Hello and welcome to the family entertainment edition of Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? I'm sure you're keen to get into that hot seat, so let's get started. OK, let's take a quick check on the rules. Up to four of you can play the game and each of you will need to choose adult. Then, for the first time ever, you'll be able to choose the type of questions you'd like to answer. There are three categories. General knowledge, entertainment and sport. Simply choose one and stick with it. All you need to do then is answer the 15 questions that stand between you and a virtual £1 million. As always, you can walk away at any time and there are the usual three lifelines available to you. Ask the audience, 50-50 and phone a friend. If you make it all the way to a million, you could be jetting off on a luxurious family holiday by Ed And let's play Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? Select the difficulty and category of questions you'd like to play. Great, you're having a go at the entertainment questions. Fifteen of them stand between you and a virtual million pounds. The first five of those questions can bank you a guaranteed thousand pounds. Have a look at question one. That's right, a nice way to start. £200 if you can get this right. That's the right answer for £200. Now, you've not used any lifelines, so they are still all available if you need them on this £300 question. Well done, you've won £300. Question number four is for 500 quid. Uh, you wouldn't want to give me a wrong answer at this stage, would you? And it's a good job you didn't. You've got the right answer. You can guarantee yourself £1,000 if you can answer this question. Very well done. That's the right answer for £1,000. That's what I like to see, five correct answers and £1,000 safely in the bank. This is where things hot up a little bit, though, as we try and turn that £1,000 into at least £32,000. Here comes question number six. Now, remember, you still have all three lifelines remaining. Very well played. That's the right answer for £2,000. Very well done. You've yet to touch any of your three lifelines and a correct answer here will win you £4,000. Lots of luck. Here comes the question. OK, you want to ask the audience for a bit of help. Audience, I hope you know the answer to this one. Serious business. Grab your keypads and all vote now. Looks like the audience might have just got you out of jail. I presume you are going to go for D on the back of that. Can tell you that was the right answer. You've just won £4,000. Well, you're making very good progress, and you're now just three questions away from securing yourself a guaranteed £32,000. The first of those questions is worth £8,000. However, you would lose £3,000 if you gave me the wrong answer. Are you sure you want to play this question? If this is wrong, you lose £3,000. But it's not wrong, you just won £8,000. You're just two correct answers away now from guaranteeing yourself £32,000. The first of those two questions is worth 16,000. Now, you do not have to play this 
if you don't want to, but you do have a 50-50 and a phone a friend available to help you find that correct answer. Best of luck, here it comes. You had £8,000, you decided to play this question, and you'll be glad you did. It's the right answer. You just won £16,000. Right, this is a very serious moment. You have £16,000. If you do get the next question right, you'll definitely be leaving with no less than £32,000. Give me a wrong answer, though, and you have to take a drop of 15000 Not good. I really do wish you the very best of luck. Here comes question number 10. OK, I won't keep you in suspense. It's the right answer. You just won £32,000. Right, you can relax a bit now, mainly because you cannot lose anything by giving me the wrong answer to the next question. If you give me a correct answer, I'll double your £32,000 to £64,000. And if you don't know the answer, you still have a 50-50 available, or you can phone one of your friends for a bit of help. The very best of luck. Here comes question number 11 of a possible 15. Right then, going 50-50 should help. The computer will take away two of the answers, leaving you with the correct answer and the one remaining wrong answer. I know you have nothing to lose, but are you sure that is the answer you want to go with? Well, you only had two answers to choose from, and you chose the right one. You've won 64 pounds Right, things are going really well. Amazing how quickly you can turn 32,000 into 64. But let's just calm down a bit. The next question is worth 125,000 pounds. A huge amount of money. You do not have to play this question, but you still got a phone a friend lifeline available should you need it. Here we go. The very best of luck. It's not often people get to play this question. You could be about to lose £32,000. Or, of course, you could be about to win £125,000. And you have. It's the right answer. Very well played. Did you really think when you started out that you get to the point where I would be asking you a question for 250 thousand pounds probably not but it is about to happen please please do not give me a wrong answer and phone a friend if you aren't totally sure of your answer let's see what happens as we look at question number 12. You're playing for very big money here, so is that your final answer? Right, this is serious business. You've just decided to play on a question for a quarter of a million pounds. I can tell you. It's the right answer. You are a quarter of a millionaire. Well, things are still going very well indeed. You just keep giving me the right answer and I keep handing you bigger and bigger and bigger sums of money. I do have even more money that I could give you, starting with a virtual check for £500,000, but only if you can answer this next question. I must say, I love it when people play these big questions. You had £250,000. You now have... £500,000. Fantastic!
Well, I'm not sure I've ever asked someone the million pound question without them having already used up all of their lifelines. But you do now have a real chance to take out the million. And you might as well take advantage of the lifeline situation, even if you are sure you know the answer. Let's hope in just a few moments' time we will all be celebrating. Here comes your 15th and final question. Siobhan Donachy was a founder member of which all-girl band? Atomic Kitten, Girls Aloud, The Sugar Babes, Destiny's Child. You need a bit of help from one of your friends then. No problem. Could be a good move. Pick somebody to help you out. How hard is that? Surely no one you could have rung would know that. I'd use another lifeline if you have any left. <laughs> Oh dear, if you were banking on that to win you some cash, you'd better think it. And I have to check that you are really going to play this question. Is this your final answer? Amazingly, you've decided to play the million pound question. Now, you could have walked away with half a million pounds, but instead, you are walking away with one million pounds. You're a winner, fantastically well done. Not only have you won a million, you've also got the chance to enter a draw to win a fantastic, all expensive paid family holiday. Just text the winning code to the number on your screen. Very well done, and thanks for playing the family entertainment edition of Who Wants to Be a Millionaire?